Raylan Smith grew up in Texas. She looked like a regular person. Why did she do that? Why did she do it? Why do you do that to you? Why do you do that to yourself, bro? Where have you been? The disturbing world of body modifications. Now, I'm not going to hold you. I don't know what's good with people wanting their body modified so much. I, I'm, I mean, but hey, it's, it's your life, bro. So let's see what's about to talk about. We just about to get straight into it. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's get to it. Person has two piercings. The average person has two piercings. Well, 2.1 if you want to be statistical. This I, I feel like piercings is cool. If you want to get tattoos, it's cool. But when you start getting, like some people... They got like 20 piercings on their tongue, 50 piercings on their nose, a piercing in their ass, a piercing on their tip. And you know which one I'm talking about. They got uh, uh they got uh, tattoos on their eyeball, like, you know what I'm saying? They tongue split, like that's when it gets ridiculous. I'm not gonna lose you. This is technically a body modification, but what about extreme body modifications? I'm talking about removal of fingers, eye tattoos, teeth sharpening, horns, and so much Horns? Oh man. More today. We'll yeah, the fingertip. What do you think I'm talking about? Talking about the disturbing world of body modifications and specific people who one could argue took things a bit too far. Also, this video is in no way shaming anyone on the list. You have your right to do whatever you want with your body. This video is just covering some shocking body mods. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Like I said, in the this is like the only tub video that I've seen recorded in the morning. Usually, it's always recorded at night. That's crazy. Why you got any piercings? Yeah, I got one, but I can't tell y'all about that one. Anthony Lafredo. Anthony calls himself the Black Alien. I beg your pardon. This nigga is so fucking disgusting looking in GTA. This dude looked like a, a, a fucking, I don't know, bro. That dude looked like an extra from Avatar. That bro looked like an Avatar villain, bro. Anthony Lafredo. Anthony How do we let it get this bad? Calls himself the black alien, although he's a white man. To be fair, he's tattooed from head to toe. Dude has ruined his life forever, bro. Dog walk everywhere. Bro's gonna have to wear shicees for the rest of his life. He, he decided to take, he took the freezer route. He took the, the freezer final, uh, the freezer final form route. There's no way. So, including the white areas of his eyes. He's had surgeries, tattoos, and other procedures done on him. To <laughs> <self> <laughs> Back up sense. He even told LAD Bible Holy that shit. it makes him feel more like himself. He's named. I'm so sorry. I can't co-sign this, bro. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I'm struggling to look at this video. Named his transformation the quote black alien project so what has he done to his body so far well within a period of nine years he's split his tongue gotten rid of his ears nostrils gotten rid of his ears seriously can bro hear or he just got holes in his in the joint he got rid of his ears this dude is sick i'm not gonna lie y'all can't tell me this is sick he got rid of his fingers Nah, this dude is sick. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all gotta put this bro in a hospital or something, bro. This is a case study that needs to be studied by, like, the guy. He bro need to be locked up in Area 51 in GTA. Fingers to get that look of a claw. Fucking cool. Lip. And just recently, he wanted to amputate his leg. He's also... Why? Dude, is sick. Y'all cannot tell me. I know Tub said, oh, I'm not gonna shame nobody in this video. I definitely will, though. This is sick. I'm not gonna hold you. Blue Rye, you just don't understand. You gotta go understand everybody, bro. Like, you just, you just acting like you above everybody. I'm not acting like I'm above everybody, but this dude is below the Earth's core, obviously. So, I mean, I don't know what to say. America got too much. <laughs> like, stop this. Stop promoting. Like, stop, prom stop promoting. I'm not talking about tough, but some of y'all gonna be like, oh my God, he should be able to do whatever he want. Yeah, he can do whatever he want. Just like I could say that this nigga looked like a fucking rejected Titan. You know what I'm saying? Right, what you doing? See, what you uh doing if you see this nigga at three a.m. in your room? I would probably go in the shop. I'm not gonna lie. I, I go into the media shop. Sharpen his teeth and dyed them purple in addition to changing the color dyed of his, his eyes teeth? several times. According to him, all these body modifications. Yo, I'm so sorry, but y'all, 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 y'all serious? Are getting him closer to his quote black alien end goal. He's actually complained that restaurants are discriminating against him by refusing to serve him. Apparently. He's just too scary with all the tattoos that uh, it makes people nervous. I mean, I wonder why. 
I, I wonder why. I wouldn't let your ass in an establishment. I wouldn't let your ass in my city, let alone an establishment. I'll put your ass in Area 51 if I had the choice, but that's just me, though. I think that's something you go into once you uh, want to become a black alien. You're, you should probably think about how the public's going to react. Straight door dash. He thinks himself as a, quote, normal guy. Maybe because he loves animals and reading, taking mirror selfies, getting regular workouts at the gym, and smoking occasionally. Lafredo was born in 1988, making him 34 years old now. And he's also from France. Little is known about Lafredo's family background other than the fact that he lives with his mom. It seems he's still single. And he lives with his mother. At, at what do you say, 33, 30? I forgot, he's 30. He's 30 plus. Goal. Fun fact, his nose was removed in Spain because France has apparently banned this procedure. He got his fingers chopped off in Mexico in 2021, and he plans on getting surgeries on the back of his head in addition to the leg amputation. Why do y'all do this to yourself? I'm sorry, I, I don't think I paused this much, but dog, dog is so interesting to look at, bro. Like, but what about work? It's reported that he worked for one year as a security guard before he moved on to transforming his body. I actually think it would be better for him to be security guard Yo. now. He'd be like the final boss security guard. They gotta bring him out. Imagine that dude on top of you, bro. You're probably going to shock immediately. Once scallywags are causing a scene. Bruh. Anyway, let's head on to the next one. Nadine Anderson. The daddy's the daddy's girl from Dundee, Scotland, started getting tattoos as soon as she hit 18 years old and started Pause. her famous face blackout work at 21. Other than her face scarification, she split her tongue, which actually had to be done in Germany due to laws prohibiting the procedure in the UK. She also cut off the top of her ear cartilage. In her interview with Hobo Jack, Nadine says her face black work was made feminine specifically for her, and it's a big fuck you to the flowers and heart tattoos. What was Who gives a fuck? The face, the, the line work on the face look okay, though. I'm not going to cap, though. The tongue piercing, the tongue splitting, I'll never get it. I don't know why she took off the cartilage off the top of her ear. I'm not going to get that. But who cares? We have to find, are y'all trying to, I feel like people just be bored, bro. Who cares? Nobody's like, or like, a, you're waging war against flower tattoos, okay? It's a, a basic tattoo that, that most people get, but who cares, bro? was her inspiration. She saw her father's fully tatted sleeves growing up, which she says were impressive. She told the US Daily that her father's tattoos inspired her Pinterest boards and other sites Something that I was still shoot your shot though. Look like when she turned 18. A look at her Instagram page shows the extent of her tattoos, having 90% of her body covered in 2020. There's also no hint to her family life online, other than her mention of her dad's influence and her journey. Is she looking to add more ink? Yeah, definitely. She told the New York Post in 2020 that she was looking to add more ink under her right eye. She recalls that the tattoo on her growing area was the most painful and difficult to manage as she had to use makeshift diapers for a week. How about her scarifications? Uh, Nadine says healing them was quick but Oh, I need to know that. Uh, uh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Y'all gonna get ink on y'all shit. Like, I'm cool. I'm cool. Brutal, especially since she had to constantly fly in and out of Europe while bandaged up. She described the healing as a whitey affair, saying that she had to pour citric acid in the wounds to settle the scars. She's a full-time employed health assistant, so her tattoos don't affect her employability or ability to make money. She also recently joined the Woodstock Models, a career she never imagined herself in. According to her, modeling her tattoos shows the world what other people didn't have the balls to achieve. Amber Luke. Amber Luke has 90% of her body. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I think I gave the last girl a bit too much flack. This girl looks like a Demogorgon. I'm not going to lose you, bro. This this is... <laughs> I think I gave the last girl way too much flack. I ain't going to lie to you. This is ridiculous. 6'9". Body tatted with over 600 tattoos. She's famous for her blue inked eyeballs, a procedure that risks her going permanently blind as she couldn't see properly three weeks after the procedure. The 29-year-old Australian from South Wales has a split tongue and has extended earlobes that appear pointy from the silicone she had inserted. She explains that she battled body image issues while growing up, but her mother has always been by her side. The Instagram model shares her body modifications on her Instagram page. Interestingly enough, she was accused of narcotic supply in 20. 20, which captured global attention on her but this is not her best image i'm not gonna lie to you but her tattoos eventually made her an internet star she later got parole from her accusations in may of 2020 there is also on OnlyFans, which she says has been the most lucrative venture for her in comparison to her former topless waitress job her family's pretty enough tell me y'all gonna buy the only fans too but she says her mom has always been right by her side especially during the trial Ethan Bramble. The Instagram celebrity from Gold Coast, Australia, has proclaimed himself as the world's most modified youth. Ethan has confessed to almost choking to death during his tongue splitting procedure and almost got blind from inking his eyeballs.
This dude looked like a Spider-Man villain. I'm really highly disgusted by what I'm seeing in this video. Born on September 23rd, 1996, the internet celebrity with a following of over 200,000 on Instagram attended Irrawang High School in Raymond Terrace. He dated his high school sweetheart, Belfry, I'm not gonna pronounce that, from 2013 and proposed to her in 2017. No news of their breakup was shared, but as of 2019, when he was interviewed by Truly, he was dating another person named Jade Rendazzo, who he said loves his tattoos. She is, however, adamant about him not adding any more face tats, saying she'd rather have him add tattoos anywhere else on his body but they gotta be appealing to her. Healing his split tongue was the most difficult as it was- I don't get the split tongue thing. What? Okay, this is way too- his, Bro has not brushed his teeth in at least two decades. I don't get the split tongue thing. Like, why, 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 why do we do this? Like- Painful and he couldn't eat or drink water for days. He also has a slit below his lower lip, punches on his nose, and half of Why? his ears cut off. Now he's experimenting with silly- I can't wait for these these tattoo mohawks to pull up, talk about something. Well, actually, you don't get it. You just don't get that shit. You just, you just boring. Like, why don't you change your life a little bit? Be a little- and I'm using this voice because I know these sound like fucking, like, Dead by Daylight characters, bro. Like, oh my god, bro. Like- silicone under his skin and he says he'll venture into it after his skin is fully covered in tattoos he's also a father he says he loves traveling and has already been to the united states and several countries in europe like sweden for the case of ethan bramble he actually regrets getting a lot of his body modifications you don't say so once he had his daughter he realized that he had to be a more mature person so things like picking her up from school came into his mind and then anxiety struck because he's not only affecting his life anymore now he's affecting his daughter's life and he also also says that a reason for the regret is just having a lot of anxiety. I mean, no matter what, you're going to be the center of attention. So he's actually on his journey of getting his face tattoos lasered off. They seem to be going honestly like pretty well. So yeah. These mugs don't be thinking long term before you do this shit. He's like, hey, this look cool. I'm going to do this. It's cool. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let, let's do it. Let's do it. Like, what, come on. Like, Best of luck to him. Fuck his luck. The fetish Barbie. I don't want to see this. One. A 27 year old Austrian oh woman my God. her obsession with appearing plastic. She grew up drawn to the goth scene that then pushed her to the fetish scene. She started getting lip fillers at 18, which she kept going back for every three months, developing an addiction. Barbie has since had several surgeries and fillers done. She's currently getting her face Botox regularly refreshed. I'm not hearing y'all out either. She's addicted to looking plastic, which has gathered her a following on Instagram with over 20,000 followers and creating an OnlyFans page. She she tells people that judge her to mind their business and to let her live. She's currently dating her boyfriend Daniel, who says he immediately wanted to meet her the first time he saw her picture. She told Truly that she's never gonna stop getting surgeries unless it's necessary. She claims she's obsessed and not addicted. She's looking to get her lips bigger and maybe get a larger boob size. Her boyfriend, however, is actually worried about her getting more fillers, which he yeah. says aren't necessary. Me since they're much. gonna erase her facial emotions, and he needs to see her emotions when he's talking to her, because he's gonna have no idea if she's arguing with him being sarcastic or being serious fetish barbie is a self-proclaimed disciplinarian of men who says she offers no mercy to men and shows them how to be disciplined and treat women better why is it always i really hate it here i'm not going with you bro why is it always it, it always goes back to men it always goes back like it's just like if you would have found a scapegoat let's blame it on men tripped on the street blame it on a man didn't eat the right thing, blame it on a man. You have to wear makeup, let's blame it on men. Let's just do that too. Why are we, we, we just, we just, just, let's, damn. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm just gonna blame everything on men so I don't have to take accountability for any of my actions. Is, is it Women History Month like a slide? I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with y'all, I'm, I'm about to start doing the same thing. So I don't have to take any accountability for myself. I'm gonna start doing the same. I'm gonna start doing the exact same thing. There's nothing wrong with it. I didn't say there's nothing wrong with it at all. I'm gonna just do the same thing. Damn, that's a that's a good tactic. That must feel good as shit. You don't gotta take no accountability for your actions, bro. She she might be onto something. I don't, she she might be onto her, something. Her followers, which are mostly men, shower her with expensive gifts. Other than Daniel, little is known about her family life. It's kind of funny that your boyfriend complains. Stop getting surgeries. I want to see. Your reactions to Aurelin. Aurelin Smith grew up in Texas. She looked like a regular person. With a very supportive Christian family. She recalls having a happy childhood with her parents being very involved. She told Soft White Underbelly that she graduated high school in 2017, then moved in with her dad in Houston, but never wanted to attend college. 
why did she do that? Why did she do Why do you do that to yourself? Why you do that to yourself, bro? Why would she do that? Why would you do that to yourself? Why you do that to yourself, bro? There was actually no... She actually had no logical reason to do that to herself. That's crazy. She don't love herself. That, that's She don't love herself, twin. She don't love herself. College. Her dad insisted that she needed a college education and even paid for her nursing school fees for a semester. She apparently only attended one week of college and then already wanted out. She dropped out after that week and hid the fact that oh she dropped out her dad for the whole semester. After dropping out, she was involved with a man who abused her and made her feel worthless. He dictated every uh, aspect of her life, including what she would look like in public. After leaving that toxic that. relationship, that. she started getting face tats that her ex-boyfriend wouldn't let her due to wanting to control her. She says her tattoos are a sign of freedom to do whatever she wants with her skin and a retaliation to her ex she recently informed the no jumper podcast that she started getting now i'm not gonna lie i don't i hate that that happened to her or anything like that and her story is very sad this is still ridiculous it's still very ridiculous i'm not gonna lie to you but i mean she can do whatever she wants to bro but it's just like damn that's crazy. Tattoos at 16 years old while being an apprentice at a tattoo parlor where she was groomed into sexual monetization. On that same podcast, she also confirms to having sex with more than 600 men, which was a big... How old are you now? I just turned 23. Okay. Yeah. 12 years in these streets. Yes, but 16 is when I started monetary gaining some people victim 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 people refer to her as a demon due to her tattoos and body mods but she's really softer than she looks she's also on only fans a lot of these girls end up on only fans and that's not bad that's not bad i'm just i mean if you're gonna spend that much money on body modifications it makes sense to get your money back through only fans she recently had her eyes tattooed and split her oh tongue oh my god bro i i have I, I literally don't have anything to say which she shared the healing journey to on her YouTube channel. She has a full arm sleeve and iconic butterfly tattoos, which she plans to push further and have butterfly silicone implants. Most of her tattoos are butterflies and insect that she says fascinates her due to the ugly and delicate stages of development. She's also a professional stripper, which she says funds her livelihood. She also explains that she can go through a bottle of foundation just to cover up her tattoos whenever she's going to a location that would be inappropriate to be seen like that. She's still close with her father, who she says she loves, and her mother- <laughs> <There's no. laughs> <laughs> it's the, I'm, I'm just gonna let you play. I, 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 I don't know what to say, bro. And I don't think this is probably the hardest tub video to watch. I'm keeping that stack with you. In a wheelchair after years of drug and alcohol use, her OnlyFans is her biggest earner, giving her an average of fifty thousand USD monthly. Now monthly? we know why. Holy shit, nigga! Go comment that millionaire shit under her shit, cause like, how they go to OnlyFans? That is fucking crazy money jesus christ Fifty thousand monthly what if i get tatted up and then i make my only fan out oh, i'm leaving youtube full-time only fans model tuv at left-handed i buy it underscore granny the indiana based tiktok see i know whoever said that oh i don't see it's good that i don't see no brothers and sisters on this video you fucking jinxed us nigga i knew oh my that's why i ain't say nothing y'all jinxed us bro i told you don't bro i knew it was good i, I a star and mother of one has over 29 piercings aside from tattoos and diamond grills that she flaunts on her page. Of the 29 piercings, 20 are on her face, one in her tongue, two on her nipples, a frenulum, and belly button ones. The piercings are so many that she keeps forgetting the number of piercings on her ears. She has over 200,000 followers on TikTok and her videos get millions of views with a lot of viewers asking about her piercings and tattoo procedures. She's looking to get a mandible piercing but hasn't found an advanced piercer in Indiana. Don't worry about them, Mark. TikTok fans on lives when getting her procedures and she also updates them on the healing processes as well. Her fans also get curious about her eating, which she proudly shows in several TikTok videos. She's oh my god, that looks so uncomfortable. The eating looks extremely uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. You taste more metal than you do food. She's also a grandmother and recently shared her grand grandmother daughter in a video that surprised many people because she's not she doesn't look old enough to be a grandmother. Left-handed granny doesn't shy away from telling off her haters, stating that she loves how she looks with her piercings on. Aside from her tattoos and piercings, she also showcases a beautiful wig collection. Imagine the imagine the what? Are you talking about are you talking about head? Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you were going to say? That's what you were gonna say. I know, that's what you were gonna say. I don't want to imagine that. I don't, I, I don't want to imagine that. 
Oh shit, the video muted? How's the, the sound? The okay. beautiful wig collection. Uh-uh. Victor Hugo and Gabriella Peralta. The couple won a Guinness World Record title for the married couple with most body modifications in 2014. Their combined modifications were a record of 84, but have since increased to over 98. Their modifications include a collective of 50 piercings, 8 microdermal modifications, 14... If I seen these two out in the wild, I definitely call the police, the SWAT team, the army, the uh, stormtroopers, uh, Team Umizumi, Goku, um, the, the, the scouts, um, Sailor Moon, uh, the Straw Hats, Nationwide, State Farm, um, who else? I call, um, fucking Ass Ketchum, um, the Marines, Air Force. I call a lot of niggas to, to, to handle this. I ain't gonna lose you, bro. Justice League, like all, all that. Body implants, one forked tongue, two ear bolts, four ear expanders, and five dental implants. The couple of <laughs> Buster years, call. 14 years, having met in Argentina over 24 years ago. Oh, Victor is originally the from Uruguay and Gabriel Facts. from Argentina, where they met in Buenos Aires at a motorcycle event. Their dedication towards each other and the art has empowered them and helped them get through each body modification process. Gabriela says Victor's forehead implants are her favorite and made her want to get some. Victor also says that his most painful modification was the tongue pigmentation, and Gabriella's most painful were her three scarifications. Three scarifications. Tiamat Legion Medusa. Tiamat Legion Medusa, born Richard Hernandez, is 61 years old from Texas and has over years covered themselves in tattoos and piercings. The ex-banker has- That is a whole Komodo dragon. No, that is actually a, a dragon, like that- it's that's a that's a that's a whole mythical dragon. Dragon tail, dragon tails, so move my bad. Has self-proclaimed to be genderless in a bid to be the world's first genderless dragon. As a child, they underwent abuse from their stepfather and was eventually abandoned by their mother, who could not accommodate for them because their new oh. husband prohibited it. A stranger took them in and continued the abuse pattern, which founded their desires to disassociate from humanity. At 40 years old, they were a successful vice president of a finance firm and already had 79 piercings, some that they had to take out or put back in whenever they went to work. After being diagnosed with HIV, they eventually quit. I could make a very, 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 very evil hearted joke about toxic spit from dragons in HIV, but that's beneath me. I'm not going to do that. It's completely beneath me quit the finance career to pursue the genderless dragon dream. Their online persona is Dragon Lady Medusa, and they already have a split tongue and ears removed. Some more bizarre modifications are the $80,000 horn implants that completely transformed their appearance. Their relationship with their now adult son is a little bit sad, as the son doesn't understand the makeover, which sadly led him to reject his father. Medusa claims- Can you really blame the son though? that they post their modifications and life online for their son to see and maybe accept their life choices. They've actually undergone more than 20 surgeries in an attempt to become a reptile. <sighs> That's sad. That's very sad. Tobias Mueller and Lena Marie- Tobias? Tobias, come on. You, we, we, you can't have the same name as me. You'd be a lame ass nigga, bro. How the fuck does she gain currency? Look, I don't- I don't know how they, they even do that. I ain't gonna lie. Read duh. Tobias Mueller and Lena Marie Duh's love story grew from their love for body modification. They have a combination of 360 tattoos and 54 piercings. Your name's Tobias? Yes. Tobias Ebedai Bartholomew Sanders the third Winchester. What do you think my name was? Tobias Ebedai Bartholomew Sanders the third Winchester. Love for body modification. They have a combination of 360 He's tattoos lying. What I got and 54 lie for? piercings. Mueller has over 300 tattoos and gets the most attention. He has a split tongue, four subdermal silicone implants, an implanted magnet and chip, and a permanent branding. The couple regularly get made fun of on the internet for their extreme tattoos, but tell their haters they're too in love to care. Lena is a tattoo artist who has inked Tobias' skin, so he hasn't paid for his tattoos since he met her. She's done over 230 tattoos on him in the last five years, which he says has brought them together more. While telling their love story to the New York Post, Tobias says he approached Lena in her Instagram messages, and they quickly connected. Lena admits that she finds him extremely attractive with his body modifications. Good for them. Mom was really just out here attracted to the ghouls, like that's tough. Good for them. I mean, if you're gonna get made fun of, I know of, it's thank you. Yeah. Partner with you, right? Am I right, guys? You don't wanna get made fun of alone. I mean, they in love. Y'all think the tip pierced? My fault. They in love though. 
They got that. They got that. All right, guys, that was it. How for many this gifted for you to get your eyes tattooed? Go to hell. Um, good video from Tub, bro. That was probably the hardest Tub video to watch that I've ever seen. I'm not going with you. Like that was. You had to be a certain type of sick individual to get like your your tongue split. Get like all like I don't know what to say, bro. I really don't know what to say. Like a lot of that video was very very hard to watch, but we got through it. Um, hey. It's a free country, man. You can do what you want to do in this life, bro. But, I mean, we have the right to, to talk about you as a result. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just how it works. So, uh, good tub video. Plugs, don't touch that. I need those, sadly. But I do need those. Uh, I, Uji. All right. like I'm devil heaven. Hold up, triple deuces. Hold up, we said we got all the juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, demon, man. Everybody cheer, at least I want by. No, 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 no.